Electronic Fund Transfers Electronic Fund Transfers, also known as EFT, is a system for transferring money from one bank to another without using paper money. Its use has become widespread with the arrival of personal computers, cheap networks, improved cryptography, and the internet. EFT allows payments between two parties via electronic signals. How EFT started Electronic funds transfers began in the 1960s, but became widespread in the 1970s with the introduction of the automatic teller machine, ATM. Since the 19th century and with the help of telegraphs, funds transfers were an usual thing in commercial transactions. Finally, it migrated itself to computers and became the electronic money transfers of today. How does it work? The transaction takes place over a computerized network, either among accounts at the same bank or to different accounts at the separate bank. EFTs are done on direct debit transactions, wire transfers, direct deposits, ATM withdrawals, payroll payments, debit or credit transfers, mortgage payments, and online bill pay services. Here are some examples of EFT. Automatic teller machines, ATMs. Payroll direct deposit. Direct payments from buyers to businesses. Electronic bill payments. EFT are processed through. Electronic terminal. Telephone slash mobile phone. Computer. Magnetic tape. Are EFTs safe? EFTs are an extremely safe and time-tested method of transferring money. The system uses 128-bit SSL encryption to scramble the information and produce new combinations of data that are later unscrambled at the receiving end. 128-bit SSL encryption renders 1 million unique combinations, making it impossible for the average hacker to guess. Even with computerized brute force attacks, it's estimated that this would take several years to crack the code. The Electronic Fund Transfers Act was created to protect consumers when they transfer funds electronically, including through the use of debit cards, automated teller machines, ATMs, and automatic withdrawals from a bank account. The Electronic Fund Transfer Act authorize 24-hour ATMs ATM fees Direct deposit of paychecks Pay by phone Internet banking Debit cards. Electronic check conversion. These are the advantages of EFT. You can dispute a transaction. If you make a mistake when using EFT, you have the right to ask your bank to investigate the issue. Although it may take some time, you have the security of knowing that you won't lose money over any transaction. It is fast. Sometimes when you transfer money traditionally, it may take some time for you to access the money. However, with electronic money transfer, you can access it within one to two business days or even the same day. If you transfer money overseas, it will take three to four business days for the recipient to access the money. Cheaper and safe. Traditional money transfer is more expensive because of the bank fees charged. It also eliminates any chances of you losing your money through fraud. You don't have to use a credit or debit card. If you want to pay for something, you can do it directly from your phone or pay using an electronic check conversion. You can organize automatic payments. If you have monthly subscriptions, it can be easy for you to forget to pay for them every month. Electronic money transfer allows the business person to bill money directly from your account without you doing anything. They don't need a hold on your funds. You do not have to wait for any money to clear before claiming or using your money. Convenience. You do not have to walk to the bank to transfer money overseas or domestically because you can do it anywhere, anytime. Electronic fund transfer has disadvantages too, and here are some of them. You must have the money immediately. To transfer money electronically or pay for something, you need to have the money with you, unlike when you use a credit card. You don't get a canceled check. After making payments using electronic money transfer, you do not get a cancelled check from the bank, so you have to look at your statements to ensure it was the right transaction. Some EFTs have to be reported to the government. If you want to transfer over $10,000, 
the transaction has to be reported to the International Revenue Service in the US. How much can you transfer in a day? There is no fixed limit to how much money you can transfer, and it all depends on the type of your transaction. Electronic money transfer is useful if you do not want to use a debit or credit card. It is also good if you want a quick transfer, but if you want to have a canceled check, you should use the traditional money transfer methods. Thank you for watching.